What's up, everybody? The Planet of the Apes franchise is back with a new movie, and we gotta talk about it. There will be spoilers for Kingdom. Here are my review, so you've been warned. Now let's get into the movie. I'll start it off as I always do with my cons, and with this one, I do have two of them, but they're kind of nitpicky and personal complaints. The first is that I just missed Matt Reeves. It's not that, you know, Wes Ball, who directed this installment to the franchise, did a bad job or, or was horrible, but he didn't really bring that flair or that energy that Matt Reeves did that made his two movies so special, and if you ask me, the best of the last four Apes movies. Then, I thought it got a bit long in the middle. It started really strong and finished strong, but I did find myself checking my watch and wondering how much longer the movie would keep going for there in the middle. So, you know, I don't know, maybe shave like 10, 15 minutes off this so it's a smoother ride. Again, I don't know, like I said, not any major complaints for the movie, just those two little things. That's all I've got for my cons section though, so let's move right on to my pros section. Kicking this off is just going to be the overall look of the movie. Everything from the apes to the environments and just the feel of this movie, I loved it all. I feel like at this point it's something we can really rely on this franchise to deliver every time because they've looked great for about a decade now. There's also the score from John Pisano and he did a really incredible job with this one turning in what is probably like 99.9999% certainty my favorite score from the last four movies that sound effects too were so good here it was a great IMAX experience then there was the opening scene and you know I usually wouldn't single out a scene like this but I thought this was so perfect I just had to the movie opened with Caesar's funeral and I thought it did a really nice job of you know acknowledging the prior trilogy with this scene in the movie and also it just kind of respected that trilogy because that's a great trilogy with the quality of this movie but it was also nice to kind of start this new era with the apes by literally passing the torch in the movie i really like this scene just kicking things off finally adding in the birds as like pets and and weapons i guess you could say for the apes was a cool new touch on the franchise and that final fight where they take out the uh, Proximus Caesar. It was very reminiscent of the, the waterfall fight in Black Panther, and it was awesome here too with all the apes calling them in. A great final action scene. And so that'll do it for my Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes review. It was yet another solid entry into the franchise, landing right about in the middle of my personal rankings at an 8 out of 10, which is just above Rise, which is also like at an 8 if I do flat numbers, but Rise, it would probably be like an 8.1. In this one, more like an 8.7. Let me know what you thought about this one, though, down in the comments below, and make sure you have a great day.